Welcome back to the vlog, you guys. This is the Shift Knob Showdown. Let's go. All right, so we're starting to do the build series on the FL5, and I'm starting to individualize it for, I guess, to my own taste and make it more personally to me and make it mine. And the first mod, probably the easiest and probably the cheapest is a shift knob. While you're at it, why not change the, the uh, steering wheel at the same time? Just, it's like a combo. You just, you have to do one, you gotta do the other at the same time. So I have three shift, well, technically four shift knobs to choose from. We got the, obviously the factory one. And this is just a, just a beautiful gem, you guys. And then we have the Spoon Sports. This one is Duracon, part number is right there. And then we got another Spoon Sports. This is aluminum. It feels a little more, yeah, a little more heavier than the uh, Duracon one here. Rubber probably. And then we got the factory red and black. I believe it's aluminum. This is a factory order, so it comes with uh, straight from Honda itself. You can order online. These are the pricing. Get ready to be like, you buy or sit down in your seat. $465 Canadian for the shift knob, which is absurd. Well, you might as well, you've already seen it. Uh, the Alcantara steering wheel is 770 bucks. And then your carbon fiber spoiler is a whopping three, 3,400, 3,400 Canadian, you guys. That is crazy. But let's get back to it. Let me unbox these for you guys. And uh, let me know in the comments below, which shift knob would you prefer? I really like the, uh, the factory one, but amazingly, the other factory one, yeah, it looks really good. Let me unbox it. All right, first one's first. We're gonna open up the Spoon Sports one here. Duracon, Duraplastic, more or less, rubber. Of course, you get that little Allen key that comes with it, so it's easier to uh, install. Let me uh, get a pair of scissors here. Again, here's the part number, just, to, just so that you guys know. I guess like a urethane, hard plastic. And then you got your Allen key hole here, so that's easier to adjust, even though they give you a sticker so that you don't have to um, play around with the adjustment, just stick it on once it's tight. But yeah, pretty easy. Very small, my hands are not very big and this is very small. So if you guys are into that, uh, yeah. Okay, move on to the next one. This one's a little more heavy, part number for aluminum. Same thing, you got the hole for the aluminum Allen key. Made it real easy, had a little bit of weight to it. The same size as a, let me just open this up for you guys. Yeah, this one's heavier by far, but very small, both of them. And of course for adjustment, you got the Allen key there or Allen hole. And the next one, factory shift knob. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. This is a, was a kind of a wow factor for me. It was, yeah, I was surprised. Cause when I saw them online, it was, didn't look good on, on camera, but this is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. This is a tough one. Leather. And it's not Alcantara. At first I thought it was Alcantara, but it's not. It's just nice soft leather, black aluminum with the Type R logo. Very nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the other factory one off. It looks really nice, but I'm gonna just show you how it looks like on the car and we'll go from there, you guys. All right, so first thing first, we're gonna have to uh, 
remove this trim. You don't have to use any kind of pry tool. All I did was just use my hands and I worked from the back here all the way around and the trim just came off really easy. And the only thing that's held on is by these little clips here all the way around. And then we're gonna pull it up. I didn't unplug anything. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off the zip tie here. That should allow us some access to the bolt that's underneath here. There we go. Don't always listen to everybody on the internet. It's some of the instructions are very vague and wrong. I thought this would just twist off. Somebody said just twist it off, but it, it won't twist off because the 14 millimeter that's hidden under this collar is uh, holding it in and it will just not twist off. Uh, you might get lucky, you, you try twisting it off and it might work, but to get this collar off, you can't just push down. It just, it's just retained, it's clipped in right here and on this side here. And if you start prying it away with a, like let's say a pick, because it's made out of plastic, you will start damaging it. Here's what I did, I will just show you guys. So it's pretty simple, you use a very small Allen key going through the hole, you're gonna push the tabs from behind. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put downward pressure on the collar while you're pushing the tabs from behind with the Allen key. You'll feel it release once you do it properly. Pretty simple, That's the, the collar would just drop and it's that's it, done. So I find the Allen key is probably the best method of taking off the collar here without damaging the collar itself and uh, pretty simple. Now they have access to the uh, 14 millimeter bolt, you can just go ahead and take a wrench and uh, crack it open and just twist the uh, shift knob off the lever, you guys. Pretty simple. So now I have all four of them out side by side for comparison, you guys. And realistically, you can't really go wrong. It comes down to personal taste and personal preference. Uh, some people like the OG style or the new one here. It's red, black, gives it a different, different color, right? And then you can go the OG because of the feel of the egg or you have the two spoons and it's just personal preference, I think, again. Um, let me know what you guys think. You guys go with the spoon or the OG style here, you guys. Let me know in the comments below. All right, so rookie mistake, you guys. Obviously, I lost the audio halfway through the video and I just realized it. So that's why you guys hear the voiceover. But uh, moving on with the vlog, I ended up going with the new OEM upgraded uh, shift knob here. It looks, I'm just gonna rock it for now. And uh, let me know in the comments below, do you guys, like what I chose, or do you guys prefer the OG egg shape shift knob or the two new spoon ones? Just let me know in the comments below. Um, next week, we're gonna install the uh, OEM Alcantara steering wheel, suede Alcantara, whatever whatever you guys call it. It's gonna be a nice one. Um, I contemplated on a long time if I was gonna install it or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it, just for I do a vlog for you guys. And, uh, yeah, so there's a lot, it's a really, really easy install for the shift knob, you guys. It just, some people just don't show the right, the proper way to do it, and it made it really hard. So if you guys use the Allen key that I, I showed you guys, it will be really, really easy, and nothing will be damaged. But if you don't care, just go ahead and use the pick, and you apply damage, and, and that collar won't, most likely will not slip back on. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. See you guys next week. See ya. Feel so